guys, what's happening? Today I have another mini tool review, and it's gonna be on something that's quite interesting, actually. It's a Bluetooth scanner for your car. It plugs right into your OBD2 port, and then your phone links up to it through Bluetooth, and your phone does all the processing on it. So all the, the power of the processing and the expensive part of a scanner is all built in your phone, which you already have. Now this one works with iOS devices, which most of these uh, do not. They require uh, Android or a PC or otherwise. This one actually works with, with the Apple iOS devices, so it's very important that I got something like that. And luckily this one seems to be a very, very well-made product. It's got a nice user interface. It plugs right into your, your uh, port on there. And I'll show you how small it is. It's quite small and it plugs in and has status lights on it to let you know that's it. That's all there is to it. So you just take this and you stick it in your OBD2 port and it'll light up and then you launch your app and it'll link up with it and then you can start pulling codes and also this thing supports watching live data which is very important and is usually only on the more expensive standalone scanners um, so this one is does quite a bit for its price and has a wide range of vehicles that it can connect to and read those uh, those those live data feeds on there anything basically 96 and newer that was made in, in North America this will work with and be able to read codes from and uh, read that data on there and the reason why this one is so useful compared to others in its price range is because it can show you that live data stream. And it does so wirelessly without having cords down there uh, by your feet getting in the way of the pedals. So it sticks right in there and it links up through Bluetooth and everything's wireless from that point on right to your phone. So it's definitely very, very portable and can be brought with you wherever you go. And that right there, in case you don't know, is what your OBD2 port looks like. They're all the same. They look exactly like that. There's 16-pin DLC on there. So just look for that. Like I said, it's going to be somewhere down here within two feet of the steering wheel. What I want to show you real quick is how this looks when it's plugged in on here. So I'll turn the light off on here, and we'll show you just how bright it is once you plug it in down here. You can really see that it's talking to your phone or not. Once you plug it in, it should look something like that. It should be lit up like that. And then once it starts communicating with your um, Blue Driver software, it's going to start flashing. And that's how you know it's communicating. Also, right there, you see it, the app is not launched right now. So the thing will automatically go into a sleep mode. So you can leave it plugged in and it won't drain your battery. So that's a nice feature also. All right, so I kind of got this propped up the way I want it, so there's not a glare on the screen. Hopefully this comes out uh, just fine for you guys. So there is a little bit of setup required. We need to download some software onto our phone here, and then we can launch the app, and I'll go through that a little bit on there also. So you need to go to your Apple App Store, launch that, and then we're going to search for this right here, Blue Driver Scan Tool, uh, Blue Driver, whatever. And it should come up just like this, this exact logo. And then, of course, the, the software will be from Lemur Technologies. Uh, and it, it'll also be free. That's how you know that it's the correct one on here. And this just gives you some screenshots of how it's going to look on there and all that. And then, of course, the new software just came out February 10th where it added you know, support for the other modules in the vehicle. You can look at them also with this scan tool before it was only ABS modules and of course your PCM. So just download that and get that downloaded. And then we're going to open it up. And as you can see it on here, it has a very clean user interface. It's very pleasing to the eye and you can tell exactly what you need to do on here because everything you need most often is right on top. So now at this point, we're going to take our little blue driver uh, transponder here and we're going to plug it into the DLC port. And the DLC port only goes one way. You can see it's got an angle to it there. And there's a little nub right here. So if you're looking around and trying to find your DLC port, just look for that little nub and line that up with this right here. And then you can just push it into there. 
Now the DLC port on your vehicle is going to be within two feet of your steering wheel. It's usually right underneath the steering wheel by the, the kick panel there in the center, somewhere by the knee bolster area. And uh, take this and we're just going to push it into there. Once you push it into there, that light right there is going to light up blue and start flashing. It's going to be really bright so you'll know this thing has power. Now if this thing is not lighting up, you have it pushed in there all the way correctly. Uh, key on or key off doesn't matter You need to go check your fuse the fuse for the DLC port on these vehicles is the same fuse as the one for the power point You jam all your stuff in all your accessories and phone chargers Well, those like to blow the fuse a lot of times So you need to go and find a, the fuse and change it out. It's usually a 20 amp for those And the location of that will vary based on your vehicle. So all you gotta do is stick it into the port and it will automatically start connecting up with it once the little transponder fully boots up on there. Just give it a couple seconds. In the meantime, you can turn your key on. And then you can start selecting the different things you want to check on your vehicle. And I'll go through them real quick on here. We're not going to actually do any diagnostics with this. But I do know that the, the refresh rate in here is, is it's okay. It's not the fastest. But then again, I'm used to the, the Ford IDS scan tool. So you can go in and, of course, read codes and clear codes. And now the new software gives you the option to check your PCM or all the system modules on the vehicle. Before, hit ABS and check engine light only, you know, PCM. So if you... Do choose all system modules. It's going to take a little while. It's got a little status indicator. Uh, so just be just be a, a patient because even the IDS, our Ford scan tool, takes a while once you're you're queuing all the different modules on the network. So we'll click out of that for now. You can go back to the menu there, and then of course you can clear codes. Just general. I'm just going to go in and clear the codes. If you do have codes, you can go to repair reports and see what other people are finding to be the root cause of your code for your particular vehicle. There's freeze frame data, obviously. It's very nice to have. Now what you also can do in case you clear codes, you fix something right, and that's going through and it's doing all its comprehensive monitor checks. What you can do while you're driving uh, and someone else is checking this, or while you're sitting there idling, you just got back from a long drive, you can go in and do your smog check, and it'll tell you exactly which monitors have completed on here, especially these ones, the IM monitors, they call it the IM240, and that's the onboard um, emissions monitor that's always, always running as you're driving on the road. So always got to pass before it clears that P1000 code, and of course if you go to a place with the P1000 code, you are not going to pass emissions. Now the other cool thing is the Mode 6 data that's very useful, especially for misfires. If you're driving along, you're feeling misfire, you're feeling misfire, well, not all times will it set a check engine light because there is a certain threshold, but it will capture it and store it in here. So you go into here, and they have all kinds of IDs uh, for each one of these. So you have to click on them, and they'll tell you what the heck they are. Like that one, oxygen sensor monitor, blah, blah. But the ones you want to really look at are the ones down here. Here's the percentages, and then, of course, the hits, the actual misfire hits down here. And you can see which cylinders are misfiring or not. And you just click on it, I'll tell you if it's cylinder two, blah, blah. So that's very useful if you're trying to find a misfire. It's hitting every once in a while. It'll most likely be logged in there. And then, of course... Let me go back. Your mill status. And this is actually really cool because it can tell you all kinds of information, history information, about when's the last time it got cleared and everything else. So that's really useful information. And it just pops up right away. It's nice on there. Of course, it's got the flashlight feature, turns the flashlight, uh, you know, the light on your iPhone on in case you're trying to look around the car while you're you're diagnosing something so that's real quick access to that and this one's pretty cool also it gives you actual information on the vehicle that you're currently on it's, it's quite useful information actually so I think that's really really cool also 
and then it'll also tell you for your particular vehicle if the enhanced diagnostics are supported. So this thing has a lot of features uh, for uh, the cost of it. It's only like $99.95, and it's very fast, and of course, it's a great user interface for all those necessary tools that you are going to need. Now, one last thing I want to show you is this down here. It does have more features, yes. Down here, uh, real quick, we'll go into here. What you can do is, is contact them, some settings, and then uh, rate and review on there. But the cool thing is you can go in here and it'll check and see if there's updated software or firmware for our little Bluetooth transponder. So that's nice. You keep updating that. And, of course, the software on here keeps getting updated. Now, the one last thing I want to show you is the fact that this thing can show you live data streams. So that's very nice. It'll graph it out for you. And you can see exactly what's going on and try to catch intermittent problems on your vehicle. Let's say a, a, a vehicle temp sensor is dropping out every once in a while. You can sit there and watch it in real time and see if you go over a bump and it drops out or not with the visual and the graph there. So what's really nice is up top here, there is active, which ones we're currently monitoring. We have supported, and then there's all of them. Well, it's really nice. We hit supported, and we just have the ones available to us to choose from that are actually supported by the vehicle. So we can do that. Go to that. Just start selecting on here. And then you just go down below here and hit the live tab on there. It's really cool. You can sit there and, and watch them. The same thing as any other scan tool. The less PIDs you have on the screen, uh, the faster the refresh rate's going to be. So I'll go back and I'll select, get rid of the ones we have on here already. And then I'll go supported. And I'll go to stuff like um, O2 sensors. Live. And you can watch it. The O2 sensor should be like this. It should go up and down, up and up and down. It's always going lean and rich, lean and rich. So I'll get the engine heated up a little bit here. And I'll show you. You can sit there and watch it. And you can see it. The O2 sensor is switching. Now it's nice about this, you can use something like this for finding lean conditions on your vehicle. Let's say you got an intake gasket leaking and you're spraying a carb cleaner and you're sitting there watching. But what it'll do, once you hit it, the spot where it's leaking, it'll suck in all that carb cleaner. This, this number will go high to like .900 and you'll know that's the place where you had the leak. So it's useful for stuff like that because you have a visual here, you can catch it. And of course it's graphed on here historically also. Now what you can do also is do something like this and watch it so you get a little bit bigger screen on there. You can see it on there. So you do have that option too. And it tells you which one's which up there. A little key up there. Okay, so I say for $99.95, overall this thing is absolutely great little scan tool. Uh, like I said, there's not many out there that are made for the iOS devices, and this one definitely is. And you saw how flawlessly it works on there. What's good about Lemur Technologies is that they actually are constantly updating the software on the, the phone itself, so it's always including more and more features like you just saw. Uh, they just updated it February 10th, and you can scan all the modules for codes now. And of course, they're updating their firmware on here all the time. So this tool, it's actually a great replacement Especially like for me, um, I bought an IDS Ford scan tool. Of course, I'm using it on Fords, but guess what? When I work on Chevys or, or uh, Hondas or whatever, what am I going to use? I'm going to use this thing. 
And these things are so popular, actually, that uh, they, they just can't keep them in stock, it seems. They're just hard to keep in stock. So um, if you have any kind of intermittent problems or anything like that, you're trying to catch it, you want to monitor some data, you want to check mode 6 data every once in a while, uh, this one's the one to get uh, without breaking the bank for sure. And there'll be a link down below in the description um, from Amazon. It's the best place to get these things. It's like $99.95 shipped to your door. You can't beat that. So.